Okay, here's what I think, because I, as chairperson, I only have access to enrollment information on an even no basis, and I respect that. I don't step in and try to tell them how to do their job. Um, but yes, up until that, I became a board member. She was the secretary for the Mackinac Band. And, and, right, the enrollment director. And her father was the chairperson of the Mackinac Band. I've talked to several elders that are um, directly, have been directly involved with the Mackinac Band for a long time, including Evelyn Port. And she asserts that neither John Cosley or Lana Cosley are Mackinac Band descent. They're Little Travers Band descent of Algala that doesn't make the Mackinac Band descent. And, and so, just to kind of flesh this out, one eighth of my blood is Little Travers. Uh, one quarter of it is Sugar Island, and then one eighth is Garden River, okay? So I understand this issue. And the fact that I'm one eighth Little Travers doesn't make me eligible for Mackinac Band. Mackinac Band is a unique uh, characterization of people who sign treaties, so they are signatories to treaties, but they originally were, um, they were originally descended of the Ojibwe's that lived in the Straits area that mixed with some French blood or other <laughs> other blood, and that's what the Mackinac Band is. But they're no less um, it, they're no less Indian because they are signatories of treaties. There is a distinct group called the Mackinac Band, and in our tribe there are 37,000 members, and 14,000 of them are descended from the Mackinac Band. What were Mackinac Band? Were they Chippewa? Um, some are Chippewa, because of where they would see, or this is Michigan, mostly Ogawa's up here, most, or Ojibwe's up here in the north, Chippewa, and Ogawa's down here in northern lower Michigan. And where you meet, there's a great mix. And that's why the Mackinac Band has a separate identity, because the mix is of Ojibwe and Ogawa, because where they came together, they mixed for centuries, and they came into their own identity as the Mackinac Band. And it's been memorialized by the federal government because the Mackinac Band members signed the treaties. And so did the Sheboygan Band. But they're, they're a mix of Ojibwe and Odawa. But there weren't any particular treaties mm -hmm. based upon that band. Um, they were they, they signed it the they just signed any treaty that came and up, the right? they, 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 they just signed any treaty. That was for all those Indians up there. Yes. So they just signed it. So, all right, so the issue of the Mackinac Band, my personal view is that they're part of the Sioux tribe and I don't support the separation of them. Right. I do like the individual people that are involved in it. I will say nothing negative about them that are involved in it because they're good people. What they're trying to do, I think mostly, is they don't, they're trying to gain separate recognition because of their separate cultural identity, number one. Number two, some of them are so exasperated with our failure as a government to evolve to another level, which is a separation of powers, that they're, in a sense, some are giving up on the Sioux tribe, and they're saying, let's let's do this right with the Mackinac Band. And my goal, however, is to be unified as a tribe, to get a new constitution so that they don't, they, they don't have to give up, to give them some hope that we're, we are going to evolve as a tribe and have a separation of powers. Um, we did have a meeting, and this is telling, 